नमस्कार अस्सलाम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग जय श्री राम टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट अप द टॉपिक हाउ टू सेलेक्ट ए सुटेबल इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग यूजुअली इट हैपेंस लाइक व्हेन यू आर सेलेक्टिंग और यू आर थिंकिंग टू सेलेक्ट ए इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग मशीन यू कॉल टू योर ट्रस्टेड सप्लायर एंड जस्ट कन्वे योर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड देन यू थिंक दैट दे विल सेलेक्ट द सुटेबल मशीन फॉर अस बट इन माय ओपिनियन यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड बेसिकली दिस वीडियो I am preparing for the supervisor and the above of this because I have huge experience to buy uh, so many machines but in all the cases initially I'd always depend on the supplier and I believe that they are saying us true and then we are start playing game on the cost rather than to understanding what the machine supplier is supplying to us so uh, before to go in the detail we need to understand what is injection molding so injection molding is a procedure where a molten material uh, is compressed and then injected in a cold mold where it takes the shape and then it ejects out but here in the injection molding uh, there are two stage the first stage that is always at the right side of your machine if you stand in front of the machine is called injection stage and the another side is called uh, molding stage so in an injection stage the materials are fed usually in the granular form and there it's get melted compressed and injected and the second side here in the clamping side the important is uh, the tonnage of the machine that how much tonnage you require to get the injected material cool and take its shape uh, in <clears throat> another thing that there are three keys to select a uh, injection molding machine the first one is equipment second one is mold and third one is management here i am talking about the management that means the management of the supplier so here we have to consider that what we are uh, asking them to supply that is to be uh, considered in not only in the commercial way but in the way that uh, we get the required product to be used for a longer time without breakdown so the management of the machine supplier is much more important then in to understand the equipment or the machine there are two types of injection molding the first one is vertical and second one is horizontal here the horizontal machine mostly in used but sometimes uh, vertical also in process in use so when we are uh, thinking about the machine uh, then we have to decide that these two things the machine that we already know that there are two types and then the plastic products so in the machine side uh, there are three things to understand the first one is clamping unit the second one is injection unit and the third one is the power system of that particular machine so in clamping unit we have to consider the size of the clamping if the product is short or the, uh, the the dimension is smaller we need uh, lower side of the clamping force but if the size of the product is large then we need little more clamping force here just to understand that that i have seen in many, many machine many companies that they are producing like cap 38 mm dia like the smaller injection molded product but their machines are bigger so in that case we are losing the source of energy we are losing unnecessary cycle time so the longer cycle time makes your production <coughs> very less then uh, injection unit injection unit depending upon your requirement per hour so you have to consider the per hour uh, production weight that is called the short weight the short weight uh, of the particular cycle should be plasticized in the injection site at convenient uh, position so here convenience is to consider that the product weight multiplied by your cavity number of cavity and that is your short weight so short weight must be uh, plasticized in a given period of time otherwise your cycle time again will increase then there is the third one is power system power system is just uh, the how much horse power is required or total horse power is being consumed during this production now the product side the product side you have uh, to consider four information at least however this is not four only but there are four which is much more important the first one is condition second one is dimension and the third one is weight of the plastic and the fourth which plastic material you are going to use so in the condition in the condition side means what is the actual use or how the consumer is going to use that plastic product 
सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर थीन वर्ल्ड कंपाउंड और थीन वर्ल्ड प्रोडक्ट दैट इज बींग मोल्डेड देन यू हैव टू कंसिडर द हाई स्पीड मशीन अदरवाइज बिकॉज ऑफ थीन वॉल थिकनेस एट एज सुन एज यू आर इंजेक्टिंग द मेटेरियल इन टू द मोल्ड दे गेट फ्लू दे लॉस्ट देयर फ्लूडिटी दैट मीन्स द मटेरियल इज नॉट मूविंग एंड यू विल गेट द शॉर्ट मोल्डेड प्रोडक्ट सपोज इन द सेम टाइम यू कैन सपोज इफ यूर प्रोडक्ट हैव इन डुएल कलर और मे बी द मल्टीपल कलर देन यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट को इंजेक्शन इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग मशीन सो को इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग मशीन मीन्स टू और मोर देन टू देन द थर्ड वन कंडीशन मे बी योर मटेरियल पी वी सी और पी टी सो इन इफ यू आर यूजिंग द पी वी सी इन इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग देन यू नू दी स्पेशल शील्ड इन द स्क्रू इफ यू आर यूजिंग द पी टी मटेरियल इट मे डीड सॉरी इट मस्ट नीड ड्यूमिडिफाइंग ड्रायर टू ड्राई द पी टी मटेरियल एट द सेम टाइम टू ड्राई द मोल्ड सो टू ड्यूमिडिफायर्स अनदर प्रोडक्ट मे बी द कंडीशन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट दैट यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ Uh, like chair or barrel that means the larger size so you need larger clamping force so better when you are asking to the supplier to supply the machine you understand how to calculate the clamping force then the another type is uh, bmc injection molding machine so bmc injection molding machine is used where your product required high temperature resistant and uh, it is always kept in the open open environment like means the car bumper which is always kept on open may be electric motor may be the construction material so these kinds of drills that is kept outside of the uh, your house or a house uh, uh, open ambient temperature in that case you need bmc machine so bmc is bulk molding compound injection molding machine so these machines having uh, the facility in the mold that cooling after the cooling at certain temperature it is heated to get the stable shape so in the end this all depends that how much detail you have about the product or your requirement to convey to your supplier and then wherever required you understand the calculation or search for the calculation this information uh, i read in the on the page of the horang uh, group linked in page horang group is a injection molding supplier whose machine Uh, i am using from last 14 years and that's run excellently uh, that's why i uh, suggested to i uh, inspired myself to share this story so how it is or how they have convinced us so how it is perceived to you kindly share your feedback that's all thank you very much